Today we're unboxing The Reckoners, our newest edition from Kickstarter. I'm Mark Maya. Welcome to Board Game Coffee. Before we start opening any boxes, I'd like to remind you about subscribing to our channel. It's the best way to keep up to date with everything we do here at Board Game Coffee. And if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. All right, let's go get that box. Not the heaviest box we've had. <laughs> okay, now, there's a sad story before we start opening this is I've misplaced my trusty knife, so I'm using a kitchen knife. And, uh, but now there's a better story is <clears throat> I'm a huge Reckoners fan. I'll tell you this as I open. Now, Reckoners is a, uh, is a series of books. I think there's three in the series and like a short story in between book one and two. It's a great story written by Brandon Sanderson. Anyways, The Reckoners is, uh, it's probably my favorite book series that I've read to date. It's about superheroes. Well, it's about people with superpowers and basically something happens in the world and a bunch of people get superpowers. Now all those people that get superpowers turn into super jerks. So when I saw, oh yeah. When I saw the records on Kickstarter, I don't think I've ever backed anything so fast. Hey, all right. I've been really looking forward to this one. Let's get her out of there. Okay, yeah. Oh man, see this bad guy in the front? That's uh, that's Steelheart. He's a bad dude. Let's crack this baby open. Oh man, I am so excited. If you guys are fans of the books, then you've probably ordered this. Or you didn't know about it. Because if you're a fan of the book and you like board games, I guess if you're a fan of the book and you're watching this channel, you probably like board games. And you probably would have ordered this if you knew about it. Or maybe it was just a bad time. So if it was and you don't have it, well, I'm here to open it for you. I, if you guys have seen my videos before, I'm actually happier than usual. This is a decent sized box. Ooh. He's shiny. He's glossy. Actually, I feel kind of dirty feeling up Steelheart. All right. Ready? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. All right, let's look inside. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, oh, check it out. Watch it played. Rodney. Rodney gets all the cool games. But he does good work. Rodney, if you're watching this, I like your work. Um, okay. I think, yeah, obviously Rodney did a how to play for this, which means uh, I guess I don't. But I'm really looking forward to playing this. What do we got here? Let's, let's flip, let's give this a little flippy. All right. Well, there's a lot of pictures of what we're gonna see. Looks like a well-structured manual. Let's toss that over there. Let's see what else we got here. We got, I don't know what these are. We'll see what these are as we go. And we got, ooh, untold epics. Now, epics in the world of the Reckoners are what you call the people who got the superpowers or the jerks who, or let me see, they were there were people that got superpowers and then they became jerks. So I guess that makes them super jerks. Because everybody in this universe who gets powers is basically a big a-hole. Alright, cool. So it looks like it's a story, a bunch... Oh yeah. For a Fortunity. He was in the first book. So I guess it tells you... Oh, is this David's notebook. David is the main character in The Reckoners and he's got a notebook which has got all the weaknesses of the all the epics. So that looks like that was based on on that idea which is neat because each epic has a, a weakness. Now, I don't know anything about the game. That's this is all I know is about the books which are amazing if you haven't read them or listened to them. The audiobook is amazing. Go get those. 
Okay, now we got these these boards, which seem kind of pre-assembled. I'm actually surprised these aren't in punch outs and they make it punch you know, and they make it us assemble them ourselves. Oh. There's layers to these. Well, I guess I have to punch out these holes. Something goes in there. Cool. How many how many are in? Oh, there's only two. I guess they're, they're interchangeable. Now these are plastic. They're I feel a little flimsy. They're not the I thought they were gonna be a harder plastic, but I'm sure that's fine. But I do like the molds. They are nice molds. Yeah. So they all got these cardboard inserts, and I think all these holes are where little tokens and such go in there to track stuff. So there's a lot of these. There's one for every character. Oh, Abraham. So again, if you're a fan of the books, all your favorite characters are here. So this is cool. And yeah, they're all, it's, it's weird. They're all pre-assembled. I, sorry, I'm, I'm caught off guard. I've done a few unboxings now. And this seems like something that, you know, these would be on punch boards and then these would be separate and you'd put them together, but they're, it's already done. So we got Abraham, Tia, she likes pop, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I've gone through the books. Megan. Oh, the prof. Yeah. He's badass. David. Yeah, there's a guy I was telling you about. I think that's his notebook. And then we got Cody. Cody's a cool character. I like him. He's one of my favorite characters in the book. Uh, ooh, we got a whole bunch of dice, which apparently I've toppled by manhandling this box. Let's put those in there. Oh, we'll get to those in a second. We got Millennium Park. So we got some locations. Start seconds over there. Power plant. Navy Pier. Magnificent Mile. And what else we got here? And the loop. Cool. These are oh I just noticed that. This is a little skull, and that's a. It was like a spyglass. And I don't know what that is yet, but I will. Oh, oh there's more. It's a deep box, it's got a lot of trays in here. I can see this taking up a lot of room on the table if you have a full. How many players is this? Six players. If you have a full cast of six, it's one to six. But if you have a full cast of six, I can see this game taking up a lot of room on your table. All right. Oh, that was the New Chicago Theater, which is Chicago has been turned to steel by Steelheart, and now it's known as New Chicago, and it's pretty much run by Epics. Well, the planet is pretty much run by Epics. Museum Campus. Neat. Neat. Oh, we got the man himself, Steelheart. Cool. I'm assuming. This key probably has a tray somewhere, and this this goes there. And we got more of these tray inserts. I don't know what makes them different, but I've heard really good things about this. I also heard that Jamie Stagmire wanted to work on this game, but somebody beat him to the punch. <gasps> oh, this is really cool. Let's see, Steelheart. Turns everything into steel. That's part of his powers, and you get a metal mini. This guy is. You can make that out. He's he's fairly he's really hefty. He's got some good weight for him. I don't I don't think I have any metal minis. Oh, he looks nice actually. You know that's nicer than I thought it was gonna be. That's really cool. That's really cool. Nice. I'm. Feel it on my cheeks. Feel it on my cheeks. I'm getting excited. Oh, this bag's heavy. These, these are metal pieces. I forgot. That was a Kickstarter exclusive. Actually, I think they offered it at Gen Con, so it doesn't seem as exclusive. Or maybe they did. I don't know. But, yeah. 
because since he turned the city to steel, he turned our pieces to steel. Nice. Ah, these fit in holes that I've seen. I think it's the good guy holes. I don't know. These, I'm pretty sure, will fit in one of these. Not these ones. There's something that matches this shape somewhere. But here, you can... Heavy. Huh? Just... To give you a sense of how heavy these bags are, just listen. Huh? <laughs> Those are the loudest pieces in any game I've ever unboxed. Oh, I just want to hold all these. These are really nice. I actually didn't think it'd be such a big deal, but these feel great. Like these are heavy components. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to play this game. And now I have a watch a play video to watch. Oh, I like the color on these. Nice. These are awesome. <gasps> I forgot they're painted. These are my first painted minis, I think. I think these are my first painted minis. We're gonna open that last. Ah. Oh, I think this is Cody's scope. He's got a, looks like he can get a, a bead on somebody. I'm getting excited. I don't even know if I'm showing everything to the camera properly. I'm getting too excited. Everything's metal. It's like Steelheart himself. This guy right here. Just turn this entire game to metal. I'll put him over there. Front and center steel heart. Whoa, you can hear them. Cool. Now these, I know these these are trackers, and they go they go on like here somewhere. Damn it, I don't know. They track something. They fit on the track somewhere. I know it's there, I've seen it in the, in the Kickstarter. It's been too long. Actually, not too long. This Kickstarter, I think it was the, earlier this year, and it came out like in October, that's that's really good. I think that's the quickest turnaround for a game of this quality I've ever seen. Oh, I'm gonna need my kitchen knife. Hold on. Where did I put that thing? I miss my knife. Alright. Alright, we got some cameras, we got some drones. Oh! These have got dollar signs on them. I bet you there was oh there's a there's like a black market in the book. And I think it's called is it Diamond? I think that's the guy. Who runs it? Don't quote me, I don't remember. It's been a while. I think the character was Diamond and he ran an underground um, like black market area for weapons and that's where they bought their weapons and I think that's what this might be. Which is amazing. I can't wait to see how well. Oh, the bank vault. You read the book, you'll find out about the bank vault. But I can't wait to see how well this plays into the story. It's such a good story. It got choked up. All right, let's see what else we got here. These are, oh, oh two things. These are neat. These are like, these are like foil or something. All right, okay, is this sealed? This is a closed, this is a flimsy little bag. Should be easy to get through. There we go. There we go. Oh, these are neat. The hotness. The hotness. Like Board Game Geeks, the hotness? I don't remember the campaign very well. Oh, cool. These are a bunch of uh, epics, it looks like. Sweet. It's the back of the cards. And then we got even more epics. I wonder, those are probably like limited edition Kickstarter epics, is what I'm guessing. That's why they're in a separate package. And, man, these things are wrapped tight. It's probably wrapped by an epic called Vacuum Seal. Yeah, all the epics, they all have names that are very specific to their power. Wormhole, for example, he'd open wormholes, no doubt. Night Wielder, he's a big character in the uh, stories. He wields the knight, you get the idea. Firefight, Fault Line, yeah, or 2 ed Awesome. I'm not gonna read all of these, but let's go through these. Oh, Dead Point. I think that's the guy at the beginning of the story, if I remember correctly. Conflux, he's cool. Oh, it's neat. Just reminiscing. Oh. And 
just reminiscing about all the uh, characters in the book. Yeah. Awesome. There's so many epics. Do we get to fight all these? What was this? I was fooled. These aren't epics. Well, these are. What are these? They're like reference cards, I'm guessing? Clear reference cards is my guess. Okay. And now we got... Oh! These? Sleeves? What are these? Oh! They're sleeves. These sleeves for the epics? Oh! Cool! Also, my first game that uh, like, that I've gotten that comes with sleeves for your cards. That's really cool. These are actually decent quality sleeves. Like they feel nice. They don't, they fit nice. Really cool. I appreciate that. And then we got here. Again, these look like these might be Kickstarter exclusives or something because they're, usually when they're in separate little packages and there's only like three or four things, it's one of the exclusives. Ah, the garbage truck also plays an important part. Man, I really want to read those books again. Or again, listen to the books again. The audio versions are awesome. And, oh, more sleeves. Let's check these guys out again. Struggling. So these, I assume, be, yeah. Oh, cool. I like all the little sleeves for the cards. Thank you. All right, and then we got this nice solid tray. I'm just gonna leave this in here because there's nothing in here. And now, check these out. There's tons of dice in this box, which you can see from the upper camera. These are large dice. They feel really good. All kinds of different colors and such. We'll upload pictures of these. I'm sure all these symbols mean something. Yeah, they're oversized. And oh, I forgot the process. These aren't stickers. They look like stickers, but it's like they're they're part of the dice, like they're embedded in there. Nice. As always, you know what we have to do with dice? We have to test them. Although, I'm running out of room to test. Okay, this is gonna get loud. They still work. Okay. The piece de resistance. Oh, I like it. It's embossed with the Reckoner's logo. Hmm. Oh, man. Cool. And we got a... Just a... Damn, can't get that die out of there. All right, well, screw it. Oh, we got a regular steel heart. It's the same mold. The steel steel heart's much cooler. Now we're gonna post pictures of these. I admire them. They're not bad. They're not bad. Check it out. <laughs> when you get pre-painted minis, I expect something around the lines of uh, Hero Clicks. Now I loved playing Hero Clicks back in the day, but those paint jobs do not hold up. Yeah, these aren't these aren't bad actually. I like it. I like the painted minis. Okay, let's check them out. So we have Abraham Prof. That looks like Megan Steelheart. We've seen. Oh, what's her name? Tia. Cody. No, that's Cody. That's David. My bad. David. Cody. Sniper. Cool. And then we got the die. stuff. Ah, more metal bits. I like all the metal bits. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Open up. All right. So these feel awesome. Cool. I like those. Those are nice heavy, like, metal chips. Don't know what they're for, but I like them. And here, oh, well, these look like Colored character bases to track who is who. Let's 
Is that right? Yeah. Let's see. There you go. Yeah. Fits. So you get a few of those. And these are get be these are pretty common now in miniatures games. Which I like them. It's really easy easy to track your character. Especially when they're not painted. When they're painted and everything's grey, it's nice to have that little color coding to separate your character. So there's no mistakes. And then these ah That's what those are for. For sure. They're like barricades. And you know what? I'm gonna dump this tray out. And then we got what are these? Oh, I think I know what these are. I think these. Huh are Steel Hearts Enforcers. I don't know what they're called. Maybe they're called Enforcers? They're like the police of New Cago, and they work for Steel Heart. There's a bunch of them. It's, I'm sure they're just fodder. And yeah, a little tray. Don't know what that, what you keep. I'm sure you keep some in all these trays. I'm just not sure what. I think that's it. I am super pumped. These guys are awesome. Steelheart's awesome. I'm never gonna, as cool as a painted mini is, this guy does not compare to this guy. He's super cool. And way heavier. Okay, well that's it. That's, there's still a dice in the box, but that's it, that's the Reckoners. Oh man, that just came in from Kickstarter yesterday. It's been a rough 24 hours waiting to crack this baby open. But now I have, and I'm excited. And when we play this, there will be a review. I guess that's the end of the video. If you want to keep up to date with everything we do here at Board Game Coffee, subscribe here. If you want to see more videos right now, click here. And if that's not enough, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I'm Mark Maya, and this is Board Game Coffee. And remember, have fun, keep gaming, be social. See you next week.